There are two types of method of achieving axial load. Well, what is axial load first? Axial load is stretch on the stud. The first method is by torque. This is the most common method. The true definition of torque is rotational force to achieve axial load. The second method of achieving axial load is actually tensioning where you just pull up on that stud and you hand rotate the nut down. If I was a torque winch sales guy, I would tell you that torquing is the best way to do things. But if I sold tensioners, what do you think I'd say? Well, tensioning is the best way to do things. However, both have got their pluses and minuses. Torque is plus or minus 30% accurate, meaning if we were going to go to 50 KSI, we would see a variance of plus or minus 30%, and we'd be okay with that. However, tensioning is plus or minus 10%, meaning if we were going to go to 50 KSI, we'd be within plus or minus 10% of that. Why does that happen? Well, the reason why is because of the K factor can change just with the temperature in the air. So if it's hot, there's going to be more lubricity. And if it's cool, it's going to be a little bit harder. So that's the reason why torque is not as accurate as tensioning. However, tensioning is more expensive and we need people better trained in order to do that. So it's not as readily available.